This is Robert Porsche with the Channel Truth, and I wanted to uh, cover a few things. Uh, the the global deception, to be sure, that's a big deal. Um, and I I was able to meet Alex, and uh, he's a professional kite surfer, um, Alex, and and his girlfriend Jackie and I'll be um, showing uh, inverted kite surfing in a little bit so right now I'm going to take us uh, I just want to show you a couple of things real quick um, the water still uh, seeks its level covers the face of the earth uh, doesn't stick to a spinning ball <laughs> uh, does water curve yeah does it always is it always flat no no it, it fills its container uh, whatever shape it is It'll fill the old uh, Crown Royal perfectly, and uh, I repurpose that. Uh, of course, it's backwards. The print is on the on the selfie mode. Recently, I changed my uh, photos in that on my uh, profile. I'm going to cover some of that. Uh, flip this around and take us on out. I'm at uh, Cherry Grove right now at the point, and um, it's a bit foggy here and windy. It got kind of rainy so I, I decided to pull the plug on that and I'm going to upload the videos in a little bit, uh, the video when I get home. And what I wanted to show you is just a little bit of how the how the fog we uh, blocks the visibility. It's one of the reasons why we can't see uh, real long distances over the ocean. I mean we can see further than we should be able to um, if there if there actually were uh, curvature, however there there is no curvature, eight inches per mile squared. That's uh, that's not visible. EarthCurvature.com. You can check that out. One of the things that I wanted to illustrate too is as I drive on in, I I do believe it's going to lighten up and uh, be pretty bright, maybe uh, sunny when I uh, get back to the the home base here. So the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars is a document that I linked to a whole bunch of my activity. My uh, recently updated uh, profile picture and cover photo and the reason why that's so important is I believe it very much mirrors um, what's going on in humanity. The social engineering and the uh, prison that people are enslaved in. They're, uh, they're enslaved to a system largely they don't even realize exists. So with, um, with artificial intelligence, uh, green screen, cinematography, and all of that, can you really tell the difference between uh, what's real and what's not? Really, can you? Um, yeah, can you? Was our president, previous president born in Kenya? Could be, don't know. Uh, presidents are selected, not elected. Um, it's just the way it is, whether you like it and or agree with it or not. Uh, we've got the um, the Elvis Porta unit right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. We don't have uh, toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of cavity. Well, hello. It's just water seeking its level. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back on down to the ocean, uh, to the beach, and to the pier. And I'll show you why. Um, even just a little ways in, uh, there's a lot more visibility. I just wanted to show you the uh, serious contrast that there is, especially with um, with buildings that we can clearly see the bottom of, and then the top of the building is a little bit challenging to see. Uh, visibility along the coast right now is less than a mile, easily. And I've got video showing the um, uh, where it's foggy and you can barely can't even see the end of the pier. Okay, so the uh, there was a video put out by Truthstream Media recently. I I like it. I didn't add it to my liked videos yet. I will. Um, they talked about the hive mind in humanity and altering uh, the way that or being able to manage humanity with social media and they didn't even mention AI or artificial intelligence I thought that was conspicuous by its absence okay so here we can see the building 
really clear. Uh, the Prince Resort is the next one down. I can't clearly see the top of the building. Now I can. The edge of the uh, top of the building. So it's uh, that's one of the reasons why we cannot see over the ocean Europe from here. Or why it's not daylight everywhere in the earth if uh, if the earth was mostly flat. I had a question recently, do I believe the earth is flat? Well, there's texture above and below sea level. We've got mountains over five and a half miles tall. As compared to a globe, yeah, it's definitely not a globe, and uh, it's mostly flat. Water seeks its level, covers the face of the earth, doesn't stick to a ball. It's just the way that it is. Well, we're really busy here today. I was parked earlier uh, here today, and now it's um, it's getting pretty well parked up. Oh, looks like we've got a wedding going on. That's what's happening. Okay. Hope that works well for them. That'd be nice. A lot of marriages, a lot of divorces, right? It's just part of the situation unfortunately for a lot of people so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this back for a bit and I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna park right here for a minute that's what I'll do got some uh, friends out there surfing and uh, the wedding setting up over here all of that. All right. So I'm going to take us uh, back on out. What was really interesting today um, about the um, about the inverted kite surfing I never I had never done that before and I didn't do the whole thing inverted as a beam I just uh, flipped it uh, about in the middle and then it started raining so I needed to uh, pack it in because the uh, the camera uh, isn't real good at handling rain there's my friend Ray there uh, so this is the uh, Prince Resort in Cherry Grove, South Carolina, and I'm just going to take us on in. A um, few miles away, actually about seven miles away is where I live. This will be converted to a YouTube video, and uh, one of the reasons for hashtagging my name is it's unusual, and it'll link my uh, name to my videos and, and all of that. I do want people to find me. I'm not... I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding any past. I've been very, uh, very um, vulnerable and transparent with my history. I did have uh, addiction issues with drugs and alcohol, and now I'm a free man sharing a message to set other people free. That's a big deal. Okay, so I'm going to put this on around. Once again, we've got the, the Wyndham Resort there. Uh, it's challenging to see the top of it. That one's a little easier to see. And what happens is we've got uh, the evaporation, condensation, and precipitation all over the all over the face of the earth. It drives the hydrologic cycle, and uh, that drives the power system of the world as well. Uh, the the weight of the water seeking it drives turbines for hydroelectric dams like Niagara Falls, uh, the Three Gorges Dam in China. Massive, huge dam. There is a firmament above the earth, I believe scripture uh, proclaims that. I believe it. I believe scripture is true. God's word, the Bible is true and all others are suspect. That's what I'll do with that. We recently had a a documentary on Netflix come out beyond the curve. Um, I don't believe that it it was very conclusive in representing the reality of the world that we live in. Uh, what I've done as um, as a uh, 
investigative journalist, documentary producer, and all of that is uh, basically use day-to-day simple realities to expose the impossibility of the globe. Water doesn't stick to a plastic globe. It doesn't stick to the imaginary globe hurling through space in over four different directions at over a million miles an hour, except in the imagination. That's where it happens. Um, So, you know, that's one of the things you're going to need to look into if you care to, if you want to know the truth about it. Some people give lip service to loving the truth. Others actually do. Yeah, it's a big deal. For me, the, the... most important reality is that I thought I was born again and actually was. thought I was born again over 30 years ago till I actually was about four and a half years ago on Reformation Day when, uh, when I was born again. Reformation Day is also known as Halloween, Samhain. It's a satanic high holiday when pedophiles and Satanists end up... Uh, doing human sacrificing, blood drinking. It's wicked. And then they'll also hand out candy. Uh, That's the unknowing masses that participate in somewhat of like an innocent holiday. Then we've got uh, Santa Claus, Satan Claus, Satan lies, NASA lies, Santa, uh, all of that. So the, the Santa lie is once again, Um, We've got a replacement for God, uh, an all-knowing, jolly old chap that's going to know what we're doing and deliver presents if we've been good. It's a lie. So now um, I'm crossing over the Intracoastal Waterway. This this little elevation right here and uh, and also the, the fact that it is the waterway, typically there's a, a temperature change of maybe seven degrees or so. It's going to be warmer now that I'm heading inland. Just crossing over that waterway is a big deal. for the So we've got deception um, with the Santa lies. Some people are so legalistic, they'll, they'll say, Santa's not lying, it's the Santa lies. It's the It's the flying reindeer, um, omniscient, uh, jolly old chap with elves that make toys and deliver them in one night. That's the lie. Uh, Who was involved, friends, families, uh, members, teachers, all of that. Pastors, maybe even. I don't know. So they're lying. I ain't buying. There's a lot of lies around. How are you going to know the truth when you see it? There's uh, knowing believing, and then there's deceiving. How do you fit into that? How will you know the truth when it's right in front of you? Will you be able to see it? So reality basically exposes the global deception, the global lie. One of the reasons I hashtag my name, and I hashtag NASA lies probably more than anything else, is basically that's the... um, that's the official brainwashing mechanism for much of humanity to promote a godless cosmic big bang, an insignificant <coughs> cosmic cough, a celestial sneeze, getting people to believe we're just random chance. Ah, the thing of stardust and all that. No, uh, no, it's a lie. Um, I would challenge anybody to uh, go ahead and listen to the entire document. Uh, that is on my uh, liked video playlist, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. And you can listen to the story on that and then evaluate what that document says is going to happen to humanity and see if it looks like that's happening. I would say conclusively it is. It is. I I believe it's an authentic document. Uh, You might disagree with me on that. Whatever. You know what? I'm not in control of what other people think, say, believe, or do, and I'm good with that. I'll just uh, make the truth known and let the results, uh, let the individual and and God work out the results. Each individual is going to be responsible for the truth, uh, for believing. I believe that it's impossible for somebody to believe in reality 
of God, the God of the Bible, um, apart from divine intervention. So, like I say again and again and again, I thought I was born again until I actually was. It's a big deal because I was one of the religious hypocrites uh, going through life with promoting a, a, a false reality. I was promoting the global lie. I didn't even know it was a lie. One of the verses and passages in Scripture I want you to think about, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says, Perpetually, forever, they refused to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. There you have it. It's beyond a satanic deception. You're not going to be able to work this out. I know that they're in the beyond the curve, there's a laser, uh, gyro, and all different technology used, and, and people want to try and present the, the impossibility of the globe using a lot of uh, elaborate uh, scientific um, uh, tools. What I would simply say is water does that. All of our interaction with water, uh, it falls. It'll do this all day long. No matter, does, it, does the water curve? Yeah, absolutely. Is it always flat? No. And it's not always level. What it does do is it seeks its level. And whether, uh, do you know how much a gallon of water weighs? It depends. It depends on the temperature because the, the temperature changes the density and volume. That's what drives the whole hydrologic cycle. That's why we're looking at um, almost no fog here. It's pretty clear right now. There's, there's uh, moisture up above in the way of clouds. We just don't have the clouds down low as in fog when we have the, the ambient temperature really close to the water temperature. So depending on which way the wind blows at the coast here, it affects our weather big time. So when, uh, when the middle of the country is 110 below wind chill factor and we've got 70 some degrees here, just know that uh, we're getting the wind from the, from the warmer area. That's what's happening. That's the way it works. So AI, I hashtagged it too. Artificial intelligence can selectively interrupt the power distribution, uh, creation and distribution around the world, wherever, whenever God allows. Keep in mind, nothing's going to happen in this world that God doesn't cause or allow. We've got no fog here now. Fog is a few miles away, a few miles towards the ocean. There you go. That's the way it works. So over the top of the ocean, you can imagine between here and Europe, um, there's a lot of fog intermittently. Um, on the uh, time-lapse video showed and featured with beautiful, relaxing music, uh, Lounge V, Lounge 5 uh, video and relaxation video, we can see the clouds being uh, generated right in front of us. In, in, in front, clearly visible, it's the colliding of temperatures and, and moisture, uh, and, and that's what causes it. So we have the evaporation, condensation, precipitation in the form of rain, snow, sleet, fog, hail, and, and that's what we get. So this isn't going to be a marathon broadcast. I'm going to go ahead and download and upload the video of inverted kite surfing. You can see I did the beach renourishment in the inverted uh, manner, some of it, showing heavy equipment upside down with water running the opposite way and, and all that. You could check it out if you care to. Uh, one of the reasons uh, the, uh, the proper belief of the shape of the earth isn't a salvation issue is, loving the truth is. If you don't think it matters, eh, you're already out. If you can think that the shape of the earth doesn't matter, then I would say you obviously don't love the truth because God's character is represented in the ability to articulate truth, to know the end from the beginning. He is the Almighty. He is the Creator. He knows the beginning from the end, or the end from the beginning, I should say. Um, he is the living word, the living water, the great I am, all of that. That's just the way that that is. And, and that's whether you like it and or agree with it or not. 
I know there's people that think I'm living in a fantasy world, uh, believing in in Jesus, the God of the Bible. Oh, and by the way, if you're um, if you're a Torah observer and you think that's going to get you to heaven, eh, you're deceived. You've got to be born again. That's the way that that works. There's a lot of um, uh, go ahead and listen to um, the uh, Paul's letter to the Galatians if you care to, and the uh, gift of God is is salvation, and it's a belief that He is real. Um, that's a gift. It's nothing that I can earn. There's a, a different gospel. Uh, legalism and all that is not the biblical account of the reality of this situation. So I'm going to flip this around one more time. Show the um, the YouTube Truth Mobile. Uh, people see it around here. We get um, this past year we had uh, in 2018 over 20 million people. So when I'm driving around, people can have an opportunity to go there. As I was heard saying on the uh, London Guardian, um, where in the world would uh, this hang upside down? This very wind chime. And, uh, and Rich said, well, gravity. And I said, yeah, in your imagination. See, because a, a wind chime can't hang upside down. Right? There's up and down. There's just not upside down in relationship to one another. There would be no vertically hanging uh, like a plumb bob. This will hang vertically and get perfectly still. Uh, the water seeks its level, covers the face of the earth. Like I say, it doesn't stick to a spinning ball. You know, this is one of my uh, Duraglass water jugs. Is it silly to put water in the sun? Uh, even this light out here still works. It still works because uh, ultraviolet light uh, goes in there and it's part of the purification process. Um, because uh, I, I do want to cover a couple of things as I'm here and can do this right now. For we saw how parked up the Prince uh, parking lot was. I can park just about anywhere with that bike. I can grab the camera and, and go there and do that. A couple of things that I wanted to show you as in the opposite of like a sensory deprivation tank. I'm not going to uh, soak in a, in a thousand pounds of salt with water in it. What I will do is take the technology of reverse osmosis, fill up jugs like that. I fill them up on the um, on the top of the washing machine here. When it uh, overflows, it'll go into the washer. I'll use that. Uh, reverse osmosis takes the uh, and carbon filtration takes the uh, chemicals out of the water and the and all the fluorides and metals and and all of that. The, uh, the stainless steel works good to heat this up. This is about 10 gallons of water. It'll make uh, 15 gallons of water nice and comfortable to bathe in. The reason why it matters is because that water then goes into the body through the skin and uh, helps clean the, um, the, uh, the lymphatic system. I'm gonna just turn this down for a minute. That's part of the beauty of what I'll watch when I'm getting ready in the morning. And once again here, we've got the water seeking its level. That's what it does, whether it's uh, this water here. Let me um, take the time to just drop this on down without moving it. And that water isn't moving. Now it is. That's a, um, a crystal bell. Maybe you've heard them at the, uh, or a uh, metal bell for the Salvation Army. Not moving. Now it is moving. It's the simplicity of reality that exposes the global deception. Now that's uh, reverse. Watch this. Now that's reverse. What if I do that? then it should be in the proper orientation. 
Should be. I believe it is. Okay, so I'm going to flip this around. Got a lot of plants in the house, want a lot of oxygen. Um, when I'm uh, done bathing with the uh, just the purified water in there, I add a cup of baking soda. And then uh, after about 20 minutes of exfoliating, then I'll uh, add a quarter cup of uh, baking or the uh, organic coconut oil. This uh, seashell was on my... Uh, on my display as well. That, that water isn't moving at all and it's flat. Now we can see the ripples going on out there. Seashells like this you're not going to find on the beach here unless somebody buys them at a store and puts them out there. It's just what it does. You know, so what I've done is uh, changed uh, the way that I do this. So I'll have my water stored under there. I can produce about 70 gallons a day if I care to. And I've got a, a lot of uh, mirrors in here. It's a lot of light, expands the visibility of what I see. If I want, I can put the audio Bible on here. I've got the YouTube Truth playlist where it is the uh, beauty and majesty of creation and the audio Bible merged with it. Let's see, I want to turn this down a bit. Okay, so there's uh, beautiful cinematography like this from all over the world. And once again, uh, if you look at videography and photography from all over the world, those will be some of the clues. It's the reality of the world we live in. Uh, whether the water is in my little stainless um, bird bath out here or the pond out back there, it just, it is what it, that's what it does. That's how it works. Uh, I've got a video with the pool table with mirrors on it and uh, showing that a cute, I've got a, a, a billiard ball sitting on a mirror and it's not moving. We've got a glass uh, mirror Whoops. Uh, a mirror like this where the, um, uh, the billiard ball is sitting on. Okay, so you can see uh, this is tipped a little bit. The water there is, is flat, uh, but I can tell you that the dresser has an angle to it. And so does the mirror. The mirror is not plumb. It's not completely vertical. And the dresser is not level. The water is intentionally. I intentionally do it that way. You don't have to feel sorry for me sleeping on a billiard table. It's very comfortable with a Select Comfort mattress there. So I want to end and say thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. Um, this is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth. Whoops. That was the ending scene what do i want for the for the ending scene i know what i'll do i'll just take it back out to the um to the truth mobile that's kind of a, a big deal on my liked video playlist i cover a lot of topics when those videos go missing it's not that i'm asleep at the switch channels get taken down that's what happens so there you go Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement.